as the London News, child sexual exploitation, abuse and violence are serious problems that can have lasting harmful effects on victims. The World Child Sexual Exploitation, Abuse and Violence Day is celebrated with the aim of bringing global visibility to the trauma of child sexual abuse with the hope that governments will take action to fight it. Second, by this issue of child abuse and violence, it is recommended that the government strengthen legislative and institutional frameworks to protect children from child abuse and violence. Our correspondent Victoria Mbachu has more on this report. Child sexual exploitation, abuse and violence are serious problems that can have lasting and full effects on victims. The World Child Abuse Day is celebrated with the aim of bringing global visibility to the trauma of child sexual abuse with the hope that governments will take action to fight it. According to the World Health Organization, millions of children experience sexual violence each year and approximately five children die every day because of child abuse. This can be as a result of several things, including domestic violence, marital conflict, or single parenting. Child abuse is any treatment, any maltreatment given to a child below the age of 18. When a child is abused, maybe by peer group, or by ignorance. There are several forms of child abuse and some of them include physical abuse, sexual abuse, verbal abuse, psychological, emotional abuse and even spiritual maltreatment. Occur in several forms. We have physical abuse, emotional abuse, spiritual abuse. Causes of child abuse could come from home when there is not enough for bringing then peer group can cause it as well. The effects and consequences of child abuse on the victims include mental health problems such as becoming anxious or depressed, low self-esteem, sadness, withdrawal, aggressiveness, violence, hyperactivity and even bedwetting. It will affect that child. It will make the child not to concentrate on academics. Their mind, their focus will be zero in terms of academics. No more respect for their parents. No regards for the, for the school authority. Then the child will not really depend much on the parents again. The government of the society are trying their best to see to the eradication of child abuse. Educationally, the government should see it that a topic on child abuse is embedded in the educational curriculum. Like on the teacher's part, we need to always keep them informed, teach them the right thing at the right time. And they say charity begins at home. I will say the, the ever busy parents, they should by all means start training the children at early stage, even before they get to the school system. Child abuse and violence. It is recommended that educational programs are introduced in schools to teach children and parents prevention strategies to help keep children safe. Furthermore, after school activities, parent education classes and mentoring programs can also help in curbing child abuse. Lastly, the government can also strengthen legislative and institutional frameworks to protect children from child abuse and violence. Victoria Umbachum, reporting for Kaftan TV.